Coming up in our coverage this first week of April, we'll see the Atlanta Braves as they play against the Milwaukee Brewers. You're watching 2K Sports. They love being here and they're ready to cheer. Over 40,000 in their seats. The home turf, it is always an advantage if you're the Milwaukee Brewers playing in a yard where the home runs fly. 2K Sports Bradley presents Major League Baseball. It's Wednesday night. Happy to have you with us. And here's a look at the starting pitcher for Milwaukee. And Steve, as he gets into this Atlanta lineup, what are you expecting to see? Well, the southpaw on the mound today in this one is going to have to be on top of his game. And when he's on, he's usually pretty darn good. But this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of jams. Lineup time. Here's a look at how Freddy Gonzalez has lined him up today. That's a prodigious lineup right here. Names that everybody recognizes. A lot of threats in this lineup and no breaks for the opposing pitcher. Duffy at the plate. It was a win last time out for the Brewers. They hope to keep on rolling here, uh, making it two games to none in a four-game set against the Braves. And here's the delivery. Ball. First pitch is a change up low, 1-0. Boy, they were in some jams in that game, but they were able to hang on, come away with a W. Well, the bottom line is, when you look at the scoreboard, they won by two. That's plenty. Now the 1-0 pitch. Strike oh, and he swings on a dirt pitch. Guess he couldn't see that one. Ball. That's a foul ball. Swing and a soft grounder towards second. Molitor. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Got a chance to check out the Brewers. Let's look at their defense. Base is empty with one away. Change up just misses. 1 0. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. 1 0 on the way. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. Now the 2-0 pitch. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3-0. Uh, the pitcher can't find the zone right here, but I'm still giving my hitter the green light. I think he has enough discipline to get a good pitch and try to drive it. Here it comes, 3-0. That misses ball four. That is a guy you do not want to put on base. He didn't give him anything to hit at all. Free pass on four pitches. Here's a look at the schedule for the Milwaukee Brewers. This Atlanta series ending tomorrow. They'll meet a fellow NL Central Club, the Chicago Cubs. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After that, they kick off a series with the Pirates, a little division rivalry. Runner at first with one down. First pitch is a change up low, 1 0. Pauses, and now the 1 0. 1 0 pitch, change up, swung on, and missed. 1 and 1. He's running. He is safe at second base.
Spins and a throw behind the runner. And he's back easily. Lined up the middle. Molitor. And that's in plenty of time for the out. These teams set the tone in offense last year. Let's take a look. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Reds. The Phillies in second. The Rockies third. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Braves rounded out. Well, they might have to replace home plate after this game because these were two of the top teams in, in the league last year in run scored. They love the cross home plate. They get guys on. They score them. And that's what makes these teams so tough to pitch against. Ball. Just missed with the fastball. 1-0. Oh. That two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs. But two, it sets up his other pitches. Ready with a 1-0. He watches that fastball. It'll leave it up the count at 1-1. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Pitch on the way. Curve ball just off the black, and it's 2-1. Lays off that fastball. It's a call strike. Two and two. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. Three Tough two. pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Full count pitch. And on that one, he'll up his on-base percentage. That's ball four. Well, his patience really paid off there. And it can pay big dividends now if somebody come up with a big hit. Well, you know, the pitcher's really tired right now. And you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away. And now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. Cepeda at the plate. Well, a couple guys on right now, Gary, with speed at second base. We'll see if they try to put pressure on them and try to start both runners. If they throw them out at third, they'll still have a man in scoring position. Throw over to second base, a force to retire the side. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. So the first chance for the Brewers. They're coming right up. Here's a look at Atlanta's starter. The Steve uh, Milwaukee hitters, what's he thinking about? Well, the southpaw on the mound today, and this one is going to have to be on top of his game. And when he's on, he's usually pretty darn good. But this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of James. And he lays one down here. McGriff. And he throws on to first for the out. What a way. Well, he's clearly bunting for hit all the way here, but not able to get it where he wants to, and they were able to make the play. One out, nobody on. And here's the pitch. Swung on, line to right field. The throw, and he makes it to first in time. Here's the chance to show you that lineup for the Brewers. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, if you want to see one of the biggest swings in all of baseball, take a look at Prince Fielder in this one today. The guy that goes up there geared to hit the home run, but he's starting to walk a little bit more, and with those walks, hopefully the home run numbers will increase. Let's take a quick look at the Braves and how they line up on the field with their defense. All right, take a look at this club defensively. The thing to remember is they're ranked in the bottom five for the total number of errors committed. That's a lot of mistakes and a lot of extra base runners and bases that they've given up. One out, runner on at first. Smash towards the middle. That should be a base hit. 
Fans, next Monday you can catch another dose of baseball. It'll be Kevin Euclid and the Boston Red Sox. They take on the Tampa Bay Rays. That one will be broadcast live at 11 a.m. Eastern. One away as Prince Fielder sets in. Last season led the league in watch. First pitch way out of the zone, ball one. The 1 0 now. And he looks at a fastball in there, 1 and 1. They drove in a couple runs in the ball game last night. Here's the pitch. And that misses down in the zone, two and one. The lifetime average, 252 against the Braves. Now the two one pitch. A shot up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Fielder. Now here he comes, heading for home. And he's in there. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. In the box now, number five spot. There's some production being seen in this game early, and they've got a chance now to extend the lead. And Gary, you can never underestimate the importance of an early lead. It can allow the pitcher to go right at the hitters and pitch with confidence. Runners on first and second with one out. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. And it doesn't hurt to get that starter to throw a few pitches either. Well, he's going to need to settle down a little bit here so he can stick around later in the game. And that's on the black for a called strike, nothing in two. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball, to the outside corner. Paint the black, get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Slider misses, and it's one and two down. Well, this would be a perfect pitch if it stayed in the zone. This slider just slid right out of the zone, just off the bottom outside corner. You're and out. the curveball, it's in there. Struck him out, two down now. Well, he starts his curveball at the hitter's head and then break it to the inside corner. It causes the hitter to get the jelly leg and just give up on it. Well, let's take a look at the Milwaukee Brewers and where they ended up rank-wise last year in the National League. Second best in hits, second in home runs, and an offense that can slug the ball, not settling for singles. They go up there looking to drive it third in the league in slugging percentage. Two men on and two men out. Here it comes. Now swinging a shot toward second. Throws the first side is retired. Off to a good start here. They put one over in the first. The Brewers are on top. One to nothing. Well, we we'll, uh, won't consider it extreme weather, but it is very cold here. Field conditions are okay. Ball. Change up just misses. One and oh. Here's the pitch. Change up just off the black. Falls behind 2-0. Oh. The 2-0 -oh pitch. Inside. Ball three. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed, though, in off the plate. Great pitch. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. 
Well, it looked like he was taken all the way right there, Gary. Walked him on four straight pitches. Let's take a brief look here at the Atlanta Braves and how they ranked in the National League last season. First in doubles, fifth in runs. And they were in the top ten in team batting average, an offense that made a lot of contact and got a lot of base hits. Runner on first base, nobody out. There's a ground ball. He's up with it. The second for one. And two, they pull off the double play. That Keystone area can get a little rusty. Nice turn on the double play. Just the way they draw it up. Great pivot by the shortstop. It's McGriff batting. Base is empty with two outs. He deals. Ball. Fastball misses away. 1 0. Oh. Trying to get the ground ball out. You throw that two seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. Here's the 1 0. Oh. Swings, lines this one back up the middle, and it's through. That's a base hit. Boy, after two outs, they finally got a man on board right here in this inning. So let's see if they can get back-to-back -back hits going and maybe get some momentum. Shane Dinks settling in. Two outs and a man on first. Oh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. The pitch. Ball. Lost the grip to that changeup. And it's 2-0. Oh. This one's over at the knee level, two and one. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Come set. Takes a swing at that fastball, but doesn't make contact, and it goes even at two. Well, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. The 2-2 pitch. And that misses below the knees. That'll run us to the full 3-2 count. Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. That misses. Ball four. Potential tying run now at second. Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at-bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. Duffy at the plate. Now, Gary, we just saw the second walk in this inning, and you really have to start to question, is he nibbling, trying to avoid contact, or is he losing control? Two down. Runners at first and second. And the first pitch, change up in there for a called strike. And Steve, absolutely right about those walks here. He's got himself in a jam. If he doesn't get out of it, his part of the game may be over. Well, he's finding himself in hitters' counts. And when hitters can look for a certain pitch, they can drive it. So he's in trouble. Head up the middle. Molitor. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave 2-1. So the shutout's still in progress here at Miller Park. Latter third of the lineup coming up. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. It's going to be Thomas. Watches that one high and outside, calls strike one. 
tough pitch to hit right here. When you run this fastball up and away, you have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. Here's the pitch. Off his bat and foul to the right. Ball. Tried to get him to bite, but he lays off outside. One and two. Watches that one travel down. Two and two. That's oh, a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And Murphy gloves that one. Here's what the Braves have coming up in April. Final game with Milwaukee is tomorrow. After that, they'll be playing host to the Phillies and the bat of Ryan Howard team that will definitely give them a competitive series. That's a three-game series. Their homestand continues with another team, the Florida Marlins. So, a lot of home games to look forward to. Number seven man at the plate. One out, nobody on. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Here's the pitch. Ball! Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. Fastball got him two down. We got a second now to see the four seam fastball in K Camp. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. Here's Cooper to the plate. Base is empty and two down. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. And next, it'll be the Braves getting it going. It'll be batters two through four do up next. Moranville settles in. He'll start things off here in the third inning. Oh. And he lays off one low, one and oh. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. The 1-0 pitch. Low for a ball, and it's 2-0. Swung on, hit. Molitor. And his throw is in time for out number one. Aaron at the plate. He bounced out his last time. Base is empty, one out. And here's the first one. Put something off, and it swung on and missed, 0-1. Oh, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it, got him to swing right through it. He delivers. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. Bolt. 
Good looking fastball. Called the ball though. Two and one. Here's the two one. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call though, and it's three and one. Well, even though you're three and one in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it because he can take you out of the yard. Lost him. Ball four. Potential tying run is on. Good eye by the hitter there. Laying off that low ball. Understanding below the knees. Take it. And Matthews in the box. That walk is the tying run in this situation. Now he's got to look for a ground ball, try to get the double play, and get out of this inning. Runner at first with one down. And here's the pitch. And they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. At the belt, the 1 0. Swung out and missed, and it's 1 and 1. Steve, you issue walks as has happened here in this inning. You limit now what you can do. You've got to get the guys out, not let anybody else on. Well, that's right. He's going to have to look for a ball down in the zone, try to get the hitter hit on top of it and get that double play. Strike. Taking it right down the middle for a strike, one and two. Popped up, should be playable behind the plate. Two down. Cepeda gets a turn here. 0 for 1 thus far. Two outs and a man on first. And here's the first one. Starts him out with a change up for a strike. Now, Gary, the pitcher pulled the string on this one. It looks like a fastball, and then it just dies out as it gets to the plate. Good late movement. Ball. Low for a ball, one and one. One one pitch, fastball. That's going to be low. Two and one. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. Two one pitch. Lays off the fastball low for ball three. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. And that misses. Ball four. The potential tying run in scoring position. He went with a fastball and three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. And their number six hitter. Well, two outs in the inning. You don't want to give a free pass. Make them earn it. As long as you keep it in the ballpark, it doesn't hurt you, but that walk can come back to haunt you. Two men on and two men out. Here it comes. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. And with the walk surrendered as it was in the inning, you got to keep your composure now and not give in here. Well, he certainly doesn't want to give up an extra base hit right now to allow that run to score, so the defense has got to be playing no doubles. Here's the delivery. Hit hard to second. Throws on to first side is retired. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. The Brewers still out in front. And Molitor's in the box. He's our first batter, home half of the third inning. Here's the first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. one is going to miss low for a ball one and one five fastball right there just missed just below the knees tell you what a borderline pitch I think they wanted that one bad 
Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive. One away. Now let's see how the top hitting teams measured up last season, courtesy of State Farm. The Reds number one. The Cardinals in second. In third, the Rockies. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. When you watch this team today, one of the top hitting teams in all of baseball last year, you can't get frustrated as a pitcher pitching against them because they are going to get base hits. But you're going to have to bear down, and if you're going to beat them, you better hope you're getting a lot of double play balls because there's always going to be guys on base. Now the first pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there, 0-1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. Pitch on the way. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. That one's put away. Now two down. These were the hitters with the most home runs around the league last year, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, Albert Pujols. Second is Joey Votto. Third spot, Carlos Gonzalez. Fourth, Dan Ugla. And number five on the list, Prince Fielder. Well, this is their power guy, and that's what they pay him the money for, to hit the ball out of the ballpark. And last year, he didn't disappoint. One of the top home run hitters in all of baseball. I tell you what, you make a mistake, it's gone. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. Well, you got to love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now, it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate. He drew the most walks of anyone in the National League last year. Runner on first, two away. Here's Fielder's first look. That one swung on its line. And that's going to be a base hit for Fielder. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. It's all about patience and discipline, the name of the game. He's not afraid to wait it out. He understands the first strike may not be the best strike he sees. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a ball hit well. Straight away center field. Now they lead by four. A three-run homer. That one drives in three. The WPHI shows us what that adds to their chances at a W. Okay, I'm not sure what he's trying to do right here. You've got two guys on base and you throw it right down the middle. Well, you're just hoping to get away with one and instead you give up the three run homer. I think you have to start considering taking this guy out of the game. Brewers offense continuing to roll, getting things done, Gary. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch, here it comes. Hit sharply towards the hole. You're Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. The Brewers, a four-run lead. They got the bottom three in the lineup due up. in the batter's box it's Murphy the pitch oh. and he holds off of the pitch low 1-0 and oh. into the fourth inning clearly pitching dominating this lineup right now Link, he's only given up one hit and they just have not had quality at bats against him he's making it look easy the 1-0 oh now 1-0 oh. oh pitch a change up stays outside 2-0 well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. And if they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. Here it comes, 2-0. Here's a fastball for a called strike, 2-1. 
I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ball three. Lays off the fastball low for ball three. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Lined up the middle, and that gets down. Murphy's got a single. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. It's McGriff batting, and the fans kind of move to the front of their seats when he comes to the plate. No one out and a runner on first. The pitch. Ball. Fastball too low. 1 0. Boy, that one is stung up the middle. And there's one. And they get it. They turn two. Nice play, especially on the relay to first. 4-6-3. Uh, it's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. Shane Dinks has a turn in the walk. Drew a walk his last time. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the pitch. Ball Low one. for ball one. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. Here's the 1-0. Change up just off the black. Falls behind 2-0. He waves at that fastball, two and one. He has that little running action on that two-seam fastball that busts in on the hands of the hitter. It's a tough pitch. Now they have a chance to go to the outer part of the plate. Two-one pitch, a fastball. Swung on and missed, two and two. One's going to be down low. Three and two. A two-seam fastball, such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. Three Refuses two. to go after it. Missed. Ball four. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. Duffy at the plate. Grounded out his last time up. A runner on first with two outs. And the first pitch. Can't get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. Uh, Gary, I mean, clearly having a lot of trouble finding the strike zone right here. I mean, he's doing it with smoke and mirrors right now. The fact they have not scored on him yet. On the way. Two. Catcher can't control it. Ball. And that's down and in around the shoe tops. Three and oh now. Steve, uh, you're walking a very fine line here in order to stay in this game as a pitcher. I mean, this is a miraculous performance. I mean, he hasn't given up any runs, but so many base runs. That misses ball four. Now you got to be watching for that steal down there. He didn't give him anything to hit at all. Free pass on four pitches. Moranville settling in. Now, Gary, we just saw the second walk in this inning, and you really have to start to question, is he nibbling, trying to avoid contact, or is he losing control? Two men on and two men out. And the first pitch. Strike Getting one. the fish for that one, nothing and one. 
And Steve, absolutely right about those walks here. He's got himself in a jam. He doesn't get out of it. His part of the game may be over. Well, he's finding himself in hitters' counts. And when hitters can look for a certain pitch, they can drive it. So he's in trouble. Here's a check swing, but a call strike, 0-1. No go is the call, so he'll dig back in again. Up the middle, and it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Atlanta, what a shot they've got here. Well, he's coming off a two-hit performance in his last outing, and even though they lost, it's a good sign that he's starting to swing it. Aaron is the batter. This is the time to be a hero. Team's down, but the hit right here, and you're right back at the ball game. Well, no question about that. A hit right here puts them right back in this game. It changes the whole complexion. Great Swings one. and misses. The good change right there on one. Fourth inning of this game, and right now he's finding himself over 20 pitches here. That is eating away at his overall pitch count total, so uh, he may not be around for long. 0-1 oh, is a fastball inside. That'll even the count at 1. You try to run that two-seam fastball down and in, it means you want to get the ground ball. He didn't get it, though, as the hitter lays off the tough pitch. Here's the delivery. Good-looking fastball. Call the ball, though, 2-1. and one. Up the middle, Molitor. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Well, they do load the bases on two hits, but can't push across any runs. Atlanta still hoping to put something up. It's going to be Thomas. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and he crunched that one deep to right field, way back. And one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. That's the second home run so far in this game off the pitcher here, so... They're looking like maybe they're starting to figure something out. You can survive the home run ball if you can spread them out, but it's getting a little dicey now. Brewers offense continuing to roll, getting things done, Gary. Base is empty and no outs. Here's the pitch. Oh, Slurve one. swung on and missed. 0-1. Oh, and, and we talk about a game of production, Steve. Uh, the home run, the runs, they are piling up in this game and so early. And that's why they really need to get this offense shut down now or this game could get out of control. Here it comes. That one goes foul. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Boy, it's a great fastball right there, down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Hit on the ground towards second. Shane Dinks. And that's in plenty of time for the out. Here's Cooper to the plate. Grounded out last time.
Here's Cooper to the plate. He bounced out his last time. One out, bases empty. The first pitch. Plays off a called strike of the knees, 0 and 1. You throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get his share of ground balls. The pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. In time for the up. Look at the teams who led the league in slugging last year. Brought to you by State Farm. The Reds, number one. Second, the Rockies. Third spot, the Brewers. The D-backs, fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, slugging percentage plays a key part in any team's offense, and this team was one of the best in the league last year at doing that. They seem to hit for extra bases. You know, everyone says, well, they get on second base a lot, they score runs, but also they drive in a ton of runs with all those extra base hits that they get. That's why their slugging percentage is so high and why they're so successful. They said bad underway, 1-0 after that first pitch miss. But it's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. He swings. It's a ball to right field. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. Milwaukee up five. And Matthews in the box. First pitch to him. Ball Fastball one. just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, bunches of base runners on in this game, but being left on. And really, you know, the offense is keeping the pressure on, but you really have to credit every single time he needs to make a pitch, he's gotten it done. Right. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. He let that four-seam fastball go up and in in the zone. It's up in his eyes. You can see it well. He just couldn't pull the trigger. 1-1 one, one pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. Well, it followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the first pitch. First pitch is a change up low, 1-0. Oh. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. Line fair down the line and right. Into the corner, likely extra bases. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Well, this pitch right here catches way too much of the plate, and he absolutely demolishes it. Let's see what they want to do here with one out and a base open. Man on second, one away. Here's the first pitch. Change up just misses. 1 0. Oh. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. Pauses, and now the 1 0. Oh. Wanting to bite on that pitch that was away, evens the count at 1. Well, that change up down on the way is so tough. It's really one of those ones, all you can do is spoil it and hope to get the next one. On the way. Strike two. Call fastball. Now the count one and two. That's a good hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. The one two on its way. Fastball got him looking two down. It's the best pitch in baseball. The fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. He's successful. 
And in the batter's box, it's Murphy. They said his last time. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch, here it comes. And that's too low, 1-0. Ready with a 1 0. And this is below the knees. Ball two. Oh. This is low. Ball three. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out there. Two seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. Not looking at a fastball, three and one now. Well, when you're down by this much, you need a lot of base runners. You need a rally, so you don't have to swing to get on. You can take the walk, so maybe take another pitch right here. That's going to be a call ball four, putting him on. Now it's good plate discipline by the hitter right there, waiting the pitcher out, forcing to throw it over. It's McGriff batting. Uh, Gary, I mean, clearly having a lot of trouble finding the strike zone right here. I mean, he's doing it with smoke and mirrors right now. The fact they have not scored on him yet. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Steve, uh, you're walking a very fine line here in order to stay in this game as a pitcher. I mean, this is a miraculous performance. I mean, he hasn't given up any runs, but so many base runners. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses low that time, 1-1. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. There's contact. He drove it well. They were trailing by five, a three-run homer, back to within two. Free run uh, homer. It becomes part of this ball game now, and let's see how it impacts the win expectancy graph. Well, what an absolutely great job of hitting right there. That pitch down and in, bearing in on him, and he fought it off to get that big base hit. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. Swung and a ground ball to third. Throws to first side is retired. So they come back to score three times here in the inning and pull a little closer. The Braves would like another inning like this or better. They've made some progress. Number two hole set to get things started. Welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. First pitch on the way. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. He deals. 0-1 is a sinker in there. Called strike. We throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get his share of ground balls. This oh. one's grounded foul. Wide of first. Oh. 
And he fouls another one off. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. Sinker misses, and it's one and two now. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss on the sinker. One away. He gets the strikeout with the sinker ball. The ball's moving, sinking out of the zone. The hitter swinging right over the top of it. Now we'll look at the teams who led the league at extra base hits last year. Brought to you by State Farm. The D-backs, number one. Second, the Reds. Third spot, the Brewers. The Rockies, fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded out. Well, anytime you have a whole team of guys who can hit for extra bases, it makes the defense spread out so much. And it gives you room to do other things. This team is great at it. One of the best in the league last year. Just hitting the balls in gaps, hitting the ball over the wall. And that's why they score so many runs, because they're always in scoring position. Here's the pitch. Hard grounded a short. Moranville. And that's in plenty of time for the out. And a chance here with two away for Prince Fielder. He was in that top ten list for home runs last year. Here's Fielder's first look. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike. Well, he's a big bat in this lineup and a guy that they count on to help drive in runs. There's a swing and a smash. This one to Duffy. That'll do it as they put that one away. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. Milwaukee 5, Atlanta 3. Duffy at the plate. He's going to get us started here in the sixth. And Giovanni Gallardo is the pitcher as they make the pitching swap. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, the pitcher's executing his game plan. He knows these hitters. He knows how he wants to pitch them. And now he's locating his pitches in exactly the right spot. Oh, High for a ball, 1-1. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Here's the 1-1. Can make contact on that bunt attempt. That's a strike. Gallardo winds up for the one two pitch. Foul straight back. Slider in the dirt. Good block. This one foul back. And he fouls off another one. Well, that's a great piece of hitting right there. Anytime you've had an at-bat that lasts this long, you still want to try to hit the fastball. So you foul off this breaking ball right here to stay alive. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching there. 
on that bat like that just really looms large late in the game. That was a great battle, but the pitcher comes out on top. You take a look at the pitching sequence. Eight pitches to get him out of there on strikes. Uh, eight pitches, and it was a good battle, but I tell you, the pitcher just seemed to be a little bit more focused than the hitter. Lost his concentration for that one pitch, and that's all it took to strike him out. Base is empty, one out. And here's the first one. Oh. Fastball runs inside, 1-0. Well, another successful year for Gallardo. You remember in 2008, he had the knee injury, came back and tried to pitch and help his team. 2009, he was great. 2010, even better. His ERA up a little bit, but he strikes out oh. guys, and he goes deep into games, and he saves a bullpen. And when you have a bullpen like the Brewers, you really need that. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And he throws the first in time, out number two. The question for him is going to be, can he have a consistent season where he keeps that ERA at the number that's respectable? He struggled with that last year. So the second half of the season, an ERA close to six and too many runners on base. And that's that consistency. He's a young guy that has to learn conditioning in the offseason. Going to be very important to sustain his stuff throughout the course of 162 games. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. You know, his curveball is so good that it comes out of his hand and it looks like a ball and then it breaks down into the zone. So many guys take the pitch. He delivers. Oh, and two. here's a swing and a miss, and he falls behind 0-2. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball, Steve, as a hitter, you better pick up the rotation. Well, you better pick it up early, but a lot of times guys give up on it. The pitch one can't get two. him to chase the fastball. Low, one and two. Flat fastball right there. Just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Good wood hits it right back up through the pitcher. Molitor throws to first in time. That's three down. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. Brewers holding on to their lead. Middle of the lineup, due up. In the box again, their left fielder. He homered earlier in the ball game. Like your other teams ahead right now, and obviously his offensive production has been a major contribution here. Driving in runs with those at bats, and obviously the big home runs. So the power stroke coming along as well. And the first pitch. That catches the high outside corner for a strike. Sometimes you get a pitch, and if it's early enough in the count, you can just say, not this one, I'm going to wait for the next one. Good hard sinker that time, in control on the count now, 0-2. And this has popped up on the left side. And wow. a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Ground ball to short. Moranville. Over to first for out number one. He could make a video on how to field his position. He gets over, makes it look easy. Solid fundamentals out at first base. Simmons in the batter's box in his rookie year now. One out, nobody on. The pitch that swung on and flied to right. That's the second out. It's going to be Thomas. And a home run back in the fourth inning. Base is empty and two down. And here's the first one. Smacked that one. He got it right up the middle. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. 
Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. And next, it'll be the Braves getting it going. And Matthews in the box. Last time up, flew out. Swing and a drive, deep left center. And he makes the catch, run away. Well, they followed the advanced scout reports to a tee. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. Cepeda at the plate. He doubled and scored in his last trip to the plate. One out, base is empty. Now the first pitch. Swing sits this one pretty well, deep right center. And Thomas gets to it. Well, they followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Number two spot in the lineup up again. Took a called third strike in his last time up. Two out, space is empty. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. Line drive. Molitor throws on to first in time to retire the side. Well, that's one way to keep your pitch count down. They wrap that inning up with three pitches. Brewers holding on to their lead. Up now, their rookie third baseman. He'll start the home half of the seventh. First pitch. Hit sharply down the line. And he throws on the first for the out. What a way. Uh, he's got everything working for him right now. Every pitch he's throwing for a strike. And that's nine in a row that he's set down. Here's Cooper to the plate. Ground out victim last time through. Base is empty with one away. The first pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. Throw to first. Gets him in there at two down. He's retired ten in a row. The hitters are completely overmatched right now. He's got it all going on. And Molitor's in the box. Hasn't gotten a hit yet today. We'll see what he can do here. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws on to first, side is retired. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Milwaukee five, Atlanta three. And in the batter's box, it's Murphy. He's going to get us started, eighth inning. He swings and nails a liner. That gets down. The tying run coming up. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. It's McGriff batting. He homered back in the fifth. Well, look for them to keep an eye and hold him close at first base here. He's fast, and they're going to try to get him in scoring position to see if they can't get back in the ballgame. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed, 0-1. Anytime you see a good curveball right there, you just have to let your swing go and hope your natural instincts take over. If Here's a swing and a slow roller up the middle. Hardy for one. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. I know they wanted to. Shane Dinks up now. Grounded out his last time through.
One out man on first. Here's the first pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. That's a great pitch right here. Pounding the strike zone, going up and away. A pitch he could catch up with. Here's the 0-1 from Gallardo. Last speed pitch is in there, and he falls behind 0-2. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. A textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at bat. Duffy at the plate. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. Runner on first, two away. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1 0. It's now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. The one and one. Strike Plays two. off that breaking ball. Takes it for a strike, though. One and two. Well, it looked like the hitter just gave up on this out of the pitcher's hand, but it's a curveball that comes right down the middle of the plate. Two and That's two. ball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. Now the 2-2. Two -two. And that misses the outside corner. It'll run it full, 3-2. and two. We started the curveball away, and it broke further away just off the plate. And here's the 3-2. A shot up the middle, and it's in there. The tying run on board. Well, speed is a two-way tool. We talk about how it helps on defense. Now you see how it helps on the base pass as he barrels around going into third base. Two men on, two men out. And here's the first one. Hard grounded to short. And Hardy picks it up. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So Yavani Gallardo heads to the dugout. And now it's the Brewers. Last half of the eighth. Batters two through four coming right up. Here's J.J. Hardy leading it off. Pitch on the way. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. Here's the delivery. That is a strike. Hardy now lean out over that plate to protect. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Good two-strike pitch. Misses high, one and two. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. Grounded up the middle. Moranville. One away now. Well, these hitters are just lost up there right now. I mean, they have to think about changing their approach. I mean, 12 hitters in a row retired. At some point, you lay down a bunt or you try to go the other way. you got to try something.
One out, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. Shots him out with a sinker for a strike. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. Here's the pitch. Strike sinker two. called strike. Now 0-2. Last ball is a waste pitch that time, one and two. A swing and a foul off to the right side. One two pitch coming. Liner towards the hole. The catch is made. League leaders in on-base percentage last year, courtesy of State Farm. We'll take a look at Fielder, third spot on the list for him. Well, there's no more valuable player in the lineup than a guy who can get on base and get on base often. And this guy's one of the best at it in baseball. He has so many different ways he can get on base. The thing is, he makes the pitcher work so much harder that you don't see a lot of starting pitchers finishing games against his team because of his ability to work counts. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And next, it'll be the Braves getting it going. Aaron in the box. He'll start the ninth. And we've got Raleigh Fingers out on the mound. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Uh, pitching wise, you want to make them earn it. Force them to get a base hit right here. Force them to put it in play. Throw strikes. The pitch. Line drive fouled off towards first. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses. One and two. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. You talk about a guy with full command of his pitches. Only four of them, but he located and executed them perfectly. And as a result, uh, this game stays close late. Yeah, and you got to battle a little better than that. You just can't let a pitcher go in there and get four quick pitches and get a big strikeout. You got to battle better than that. One out, base is empty. Here's the pitch. This one could be trouble down the right field line. This is a one hopper off the wall. Well, it's a pretty good pitch to hit right here, and he gets the good part of the bat on the ball. Now he's in scoring position with just one out. You can feel the pressure now. You feel the excitement, the energy in the stadium. Late game excitement. Now, all of a sudden, this team's got the tying run, Steve, at the plate. And with first base open, we're going to have to see how the pitcher wants to handle this. One on, one out. Here's the pitch. And he swings and hits this one foul. Foul! Strike Gets two. the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. Ball two. Tried to get him to chase the fastball away, two and two. Oh! 
Gave him a fastball that time, but it's outside. Three and two. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. The 3-2 pitch. Fastball in there. Struck him out of number two. K-Camp's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. He couldn't pull the trigger. He couldn't even get it started. He came right back with another fastball, John. Well, you see him go fastball, fastball like that, and you know he has a lot of confidence in that heater right now. Two outs and a runner on second. And here's the first one. Hit on the ground. This could be the end of this ballgame. And the tying run is on. And he's in there. Look, it's very interesting right now. That huge at bat cuts the lead to one. Now let's see where this thing goes. A late inning showdown right now. Well, they needed a little extra speed out there to cover the bases, potentially steal a base. Let's see if this added speed pays off. He had a single in his last time up. Two outs and a man on first. And the first pitch. Ball. Murphy watching inside for a ball. Here's the 1 0. Ball. Inside with the fastball, 2 0. His fastball, 2 0. Oh, he missed it, 2 and 1. Well, you can tell his timing way off after seeing him swing at that four seamer. He's ready now, the 2 1. Swung on and ripped towards second. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. A very good team effort all around by Milwaukee. They played solid baseball from top to bottom and come away with the victory come to that point where we take a look back and say who made a difference Who's our player of the game well you know what they say that everyone loves to see the long ball when you come to a game and he certainly gave the fans what they wanted to see he's got to be feeling pretty good about himself Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Kruk, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.